Jean Ives from Illinois District 3, 6, sorry. She served three terms as Illinois State Representative, first elected in 2012, demonstrated not only a willingness to lead on difficult issues and question the powerful House leaders, but also an insightful understanding of policy. Her legislation has been recognized throughout the state and her opinion editorials have been published in Chicago Tribune, The Federalist and the Wall Street Journal, as well as several political news sites. Representative Ivis graduated with Bachelor of Science and Economics and she went on to serve in Army. Her assignments included Platinum Leader and Headquarters Detachment Commander for Transportation Units in Germany and ROTC Instructor Wheaton College. Prior to her election to Illinois House, I was served on the Wheaton City Council. During her tenure, Representative Ives focused on bringing about true pension and tax reform in the state, government transparency and advocacy for the school choice. Her awards include Champion of Free Enterprise from Illinois Chamber of Commerce, inaugural Titanium Backbone Award from Illinois Family Institute for her pro-family stance and 100% rating from American Conservative Union. Thank you so much, Jean, for being here and giving your precious, precious time on this platform, US Impact, where you can address this minority, Indian American diaspora, and many more in, in minorities and majorities because we cater to USA, to the diverse USA and the global USA. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me on. I really appreciate this time with you and, and all that US Impact does to actually promote conservative candidates because as you know, uh, conservative policies are really what our American policies are, are truly about. Um, and you know, I live in the Western suburbs of Chicago. And of course our area has a vast uh, contingency of um, Indian Americans. And in fact, I just met with a group of seven, seven of them for last week. And they come from a diverse background. Of course, you've got small businessmen, you've got people invested in commercial real estate. At that time, that's the office I was at. Uh, you've got a lot of people that are in the medical professions. And the great news here is that you are folks who play by the rules and expect your children to do the same. And, and that's exactly what America is all about. It's about a lot of personal responsibility and looking out for your family first. And fortunately, you guys have been such contributors to the American uh, economy in many ways. And we want to keep that strong relationship going. In fact, I don't think of you guys as Indians. I think of you as Americans. And truly, uh, th that is what it all comes down to. Now, what we know and what you, uh, the entire rest of the world knows and understands is that there has been lawlessness, literal lawlessness, in especially Chicago and Cook County, not to mention other parts of the country like Seattle and Portland. But I have it right here, literally in my backyard, happening in Chicago. And that is something that all of us must stand up against because just as you won your independence and we won our independence from British tyranny, <laughs> a little bit of a comparison there, as did you, uh, what we know is that that independence quickly goes away if the rule of law is not enforced and tyranny returns. And so it's more important now than ever that we arrest the unrest that is happening around the country and that we apply the law equally to everyone Otherwise, our children were not, will not have a future. Our children will not have a future if we don't also handle the cancel culture, which wants to literally cancel free speech. That is not what independence is about. That is not what our forefathers fought for, what your forefathers fought for as well. We, we expected everybody to have a free and open voice in this, this democracy, this republic that we have, your democracy in India. And we expect people to be treated equally. And in none of, we will not prosper as a nation. We will not prosper, as, prosper together unless we have this control uh, over um, our laws. So um, I really appreciate the fact that you guys are on the front lines when it comes to the skirmishes against China and Chinese aggression. And we look forward to having very strong relationships with India who has the same value system that we have, that is not a communist country. I would prefer that we deal with you in terms of businesses. And I absolutely respect the fact that many of you, you have come over here, have immigrated to the US for opportunities you cannot find elsewhere in the world. So I appreciate your contributions to our country. I appreciate your um, strong family values. 
I appreciate your sense of personal responsibility and your appreciation for education as the way forward for everyone. So in the light of that, I just want to again, thank you and thank your community and ask you to get involved in this race as we attempt to take out Nancy Pelosi from her speakership so that we can renew America and reestablish our don, don, dominance economically and keep it militarily. Thank you all for having me on today. Thank you so much, Ian. Uh, meant a lot. All those words, uh, I'm sure a lot of people who are watching you right now, they are really enjoying and getting inspired by what you said. All the best to you in your district, and we look forward to watching your race and uh, working on those lines. We shall keep on the advocacy platform. Thank you so much. All the best. Thanks.